My name is uh, Mike Franklin, I'm from West Monroe. And uh, I'm in favor of the, uh, this resolution for the, uh, for the assigned counsel and for the, um, and for the public defender. I want, to, uh, I want to thank public defender Arnold for uh, his, uh, his good faith efforts in uh, defending the public against, um, against uh, abuse under the color of law. And um, I support it as a, tempor as a temporary basis. I know this was funded by state money. I want us all to recognize that we all live in New York State, so it is in fact our money. Um, I would like to see um, this money repaid um, through a. Um, uh, I'm going to make a suggestion as to uh, as, as to how to minimize the need for these types of services, and I'm going to suggest it would be by holding the district attorney and the sheriff accountable financially. So when the district attorney loses a case, the funding of the assigned counsel or of the, um, of the public defender should be reimbursed from the funds from the district attorney's office. The same is true with the, uh, with the sheriff. When the sheriff gets sued, when the sheriff uh, gets uh, the, the public involved in situations where, um, well, where they weren't correct, um, the, uh, the assigned counsel should be reimbursed from the sheriff's budget. And I think that that would make them think a little bit more carefully as to why, uh, as to what it is that they're doing when they get involved in things. Because my observation is they like to arrest people and let the courts sort it out but I'd like to explain to you the costs associated in doing that. Uh, number one, you've got the deputies getting involved in situations that perhaps they shouldn't be involved in. You're getting the district attorney involved. You're getting the assigned counsel or the, or the public defender involved. You're getting sometimes multitudes of judges involved. And then when they lose, then the public is responsible for paying the lawsuits that they get us involved in. And it has become perfectly apparent to me that the sheriff's office is not training their people properly on the Fourth Amendment issues. They have no clue. I reviewed the, um, the body camera footage uh, of the uh, deputies uh, in a particular situation, and they went on for 15 minutes explaining how they have no clue when they can and cannot ask for identification in violation of the Fourth Amendment. And, um, and I'm telling you, the public is becoming more aware of their rights in this regard, and they are going to be getting all of us involved in lawsuits that are completely unnecessary, and we cannot afford this. And I'm gonna to suggest to you that in the spring, uh, the city of Oswego had an issue with their assessments, and the taxpayers were up in arms. And I'm gonna to suggest to you that what you can read out of that situation is is that you are pushing the taxpayers too far and the sheriff is he's going too far thank you